Evaluate the limit of x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 as x approaches 2. So in the previous video, you may have learned that you don't need to religiously follow the limit theorems to evaluate a limit. Um, you can just simply substitute the value for c for x and then solve. And then that's, that's the limit, right? Now, problem is that does not work every time. Sometimes you have to do some steps first before you can actually do that. You can actually just plug in X and then solve. And I'll show you with a few examples. So, for example, this one. If we plug in 2... For x, the denominator is 2 minus 2, which is 0, and that's undefined, so we can't do that, right? So, then what do we do, okay? Um, well, we can try to factor the numerator, okay? Um, x minus 2 and x minus 2 okay and our denominator is x minus 2 so that's x minus 2 okay and then we can cancel out x minus 2 and x minus 2 so we only have x minus 2 okay so that becomes equals the limit as x approaches 2 of x minus 2 okay then this is where you just plug in x equals 2 so if we do that so that's 2 minus 2 and that gives us 0 so the limit of x squared minus 4x plus 4 divided by x minus 2 as x approaches 2 is zero so this is it all right let's have another example okay so again if you observe if we plug in x equals negative 2 for x here the denominator equals zero so we can't do that all right we can try to factor the numerator so that's equal to the limit as x approaches negative 2 the the numerator is a difference of two squares okay the first square is x squared the second square is 4 because 4 squared is 16 okay we can write that as x squared minus 4 and x squared plus 4 Okay. And then the denominator just stays the same, so x plus 2. Alright, now the problem here is we, we still can't cancel out the x plus 2. But we can see that this one is still a perfect square. I mean, a, I mean a difference of two squares, so x squared minus 4 is a difference of two squares, so we can still simplify. So let's write that as the limit uh, as x approaches negative 2. We can write this as x minus 2, x minus 2, um, then this one's x plus 2, okay? And then the other one stays the same, x squared plus 4. The denominator is x plus 2. Okay. You can actually cancel out x plus 2. 
and so what's left is the limit of x i mean the limit as x approaches negative 2 of x minus 2 and x squared plus 4 then we can now plug in negative 2 so this is negative 2 minus 2 this is negative 2 squared plus 4 and so this one is negative 4 times negative 2 squared is positive 4 4 plus 4 is 8 so that's 8 and then that will give us negative 32 and that's it so that's the limit of x to the fourth minus 16 divided by x plus 2 as x approaches negative 2 and the limit is negative 32 Evaluate the limit of square root of x plus 4 minus 2 all over x as x approaches 0. Alright, so here, this is the same kind of scenario where if you plug in 0 for x, it does not make sense, okay? So we have to do something, okay? And in the previous examples, we were able to um, find a limit by finding factors of our numerator. But in this case, our numerator is not a polynomial. And we can't even factor anything. So what do we do? You can uh, multiply the numerator in this case it's in the numerator so you multiply the the you multiply the numerator and the denominator by the conjugate of the numerator okay so what do you mean by conjugate so conjugate is almost the same thing as whatever it is so here it's the numerator so it's almost the same thing as the numerator but the signs or the sign in between the terms um, is the opposite so so instead of square root of x plus 4 minus 2 you'll get square root of x plus 4 plus 2 okay so if, instead of minus 2 it's plus 2 and you multiply that with your numerator and your denominator so whatever you do with the numerator you also do that in your denominator okay then we will multiply okay so let's multiply the numerator so that's the limit let's not forget as x approaches 0 so the square root of x plus 4 times the square root of x plus 4 let's do foil method so square root of x plus 4 times square root of x plus 4 is x plus 4 so let's write that um, x plus 4 okay then square root of x plus 4 times 2 is 2 square root of x plus 4 okay so that's uh, plus 2 times the square root of x plus 4 then you have negative 2 times this that's negative 2 times the square root of x plus 4 and then finally you have negative 2 times positive 2 is negative 4 so that's minus 4 right here and then for the denominator, we will just keep that as it is. So that's x times the square root of x plus 4 plus 2. Observe that we can cancel these two because that's plus 2 and minus 2. Okay, so we're left with x plus 4 minus 4. We can also cancel out. 4 and negative 4 
so the numerator will only have x so that's equals to the limit as x approaches 0 again the numerator will only have x and then the denominator will be x times times the square root of x plus 4 plus 2 okay but then we can also cancel this out okay so therefore we only have equals the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over the square root of x plus 4 plus 2 now we can plug in 0 okay so if we plug in 0 for x then we will get 1 over so that's square root of 0 plus 4 plus 2 okay and that's equal to 1 over 0 plus 4 is 4 square root of 4 is 2 2 plus 2 is 4 1 fourth and that's the limit of the square root of x plus 4 minus 2 divided by x as x approaches 0.